Today is December 15th, 2022, but most of you are probably watching this in the future. But if you're here early enough, on this day, 10 years ago, I created this YouTube channel. And what better way to celebrate than by going back through my old videos and just roasting the heck out of my old redstone. And this is where it all started. My first video, how to make a redstone safe with levers. It was just a really simple lever combination lock. You flip those two and the door opens, but if you flip any other ones, it closes again. But this redstone is quite frankly, embarrassing. There's so much wrong with it, I don't even know where to begin. For starters, these torches can be like this, they don't need to be on top. And why did I use so many redstone repeaters? I only need one. And why did I put this torch all the way out here with the redstone jutting out the back? I can get rid of half of this, like it can literally just be this line here, and then that goes into a torch over here, like that. But even then, this can still be simplified more. The whole contraption can literally just be this. That works exactly the same as it did before. After a few months of uploading, I posted this thing. And this was the first redstone build that sort of got me noticed in the redstone community. These things used to be super popular. It's called a zipper elevator. And the name's kind of self-explanatory. Yeah, it looks like a zipper when you've gone all the way up. And soon after I uploaded this, it suddenly had 2,000 views, which was a lot back then. And I had no idea why, until I noticed a comment from Mumbo. You see, back then, you couldn't hide your likes on YouTube. So if somebody liked your video, then all their subscribers would see it. Mumbo liked the video, so lots of people ended up watching it. But this was back when Mumbo had like 20,000 subscribers. And Mumbo's helped me a lot over the years, drawing attention to my videos, which I'm very grateful for. But I'm also grateful for the sponsor of this video. Rain Shadow Legends. That's right, after 10 years on YouTube, I finally have a sponsor. <laughs> 10 years on YouTube? That's nothing compared to 80 million downloads, endless content, endless build crafting, endless customization, deep strategies, crossplay on iOS, Android, and PC, and over 650 unique champions, with new ones being added every single month, all while being free to play. Oh, what's this? Rage just released another new champion? Her name is Rhonda, and you can start earning her for free right now, even if you're a new player? And all you have to do is log into Rage Shadow Legends and play for seven days between now and February 20th? And to celebrate Rhonda's release, Raid is also giving everybody double XP for three days, 500,000 silver, and five full energy refills. Just use the promo code Raid Rhonda to get all these free goodies. But the goodies don't stop there. If you're an Amazon Prime, member, you can claim exclusive rewards through Twitch. And if you sign up through my link in the description, you'll get an extra special starter pack. Download Raid today and become a shadow legend. Add over. Then we have this thing, which was my first ever redstone world record. Or at least, I thought it was at the time. I was actually beaten by a guy called Peter Jang before I had even made this. It's a two wide hidden staircase. And for its time, yeah, it was very small. But the world record wasn't the only thing I broke back then. Here's a bit of Herpler's lore for you. The day after I uploaded this, I broke my ankle really badly. And while my mum was driving me to the hospital, I checked my phone and saw that the video had 6,000 views, which again was a lot, because again, Mumbo had liked it. And that cheered me up a lot. A while later, I broke my first world record, for real this time. This is a two wide, seamless hidden staircase. So. The same thing as that, but with all the pistons hidden. Then in 2014, I started getting into technical Minecraft a bit. This was one of the things I made. It was the first automatic obsidian farm for Minecraft 1.8. And the version matters because of something that Mojang did to Withers. In 1.7, the Wither was four blocks tall, even though when you build it, it's only three blocks tall. So in 1.8, Mojang decided to fix this in the most logical way possible. Take the four block tall Wither that should be three blocks tall, and make it three and a half blocks tall. And that broke every wither cage in existence. And to my knowledge, I was the first one to make a working, reliable 1.8 wither cage. This obsidian farm is very broken now, so I've had to load it up in 1.8. Then in 2015, I made this 4x4 door. 
By this point, I was starting to get really good at making compact redstone, because this thing is dense. In fact, Mumbo built this on Hermitcraft, and he had a lot of trouble getting it to work, because everything is so tightly packed. Then a while later, I made this thing, which was a fully synchronized 5x5 cave lamp door. Bit of a mouthful. This kind of set a bit of a trend, because after I made this video, a lot of people were making 5x5 cave doors. And for a long time, this was my most viewed tutorial. Now, this is where my redstone started started getting a bit wacky. This was the world's first hidden end portal. I built this with my friend Armadillo28, and yeah, it's a bit of a unit. Unfortunately, I can't turn it on because it's broken. At some point, Mojang made end portal frames transparent, so you can't actually put redstone torches on the side like this anymore. So once again, we have to go back to 1.8. I can't remember exactly the version that this broke, but it works in 1.8, so that's good enough. Yeah, it's not the fastest thing in the world, is it? But then again, it was the world's first, so at least there's that. This was also when people started figuring out zero ticks, so I made this thing with my friend KP Killer. At the time, this was the fastest 3x3 door. And it was also one of the first times that zero ticks started getting compact. This one. So once we had done the fastest 3x3, the next logical step is obviously the fastest 6x6. I built this with my friend Spacewalker, and we also had help from another friend, Sacred Redstone. And for a long time, this was the fastest 6x6. This thing took us over two months to build. Unfortunately, I can't show it here because it's broken. I have to go all the way back to 1.15. A lot of people thought this was fake because of the slow-mos, when in reality, I was just using a mod to slow down the game. When I first posted this door, it got around 30,000 views, and then it slowly fell off around 40,000. Then a year later, in 2019, when Minecraft was suddenly cool again, it got picked up by the algorithm. And now the video has 2.8 million views, which to this day is still my most viewed video. Although, like an idiot, I didn't capitalize on that momentum because I was busy with university. So, my channel was dead for a long time. But Crafty kept egging me on to revive my channel, and this door is how I started reviving my channel, and for the first time, I was also putting more effort into how I made my videos. In the past, I just made a redstone thing and uploaded it without putting much effort into the actual video. And since then, I've just been uploading fairly consistently, and along the way, I got some really cool opportunities, like making the elevator that DocM77 built in his base on Hermitcraft, or just making redstone builds that are completely impractical beyond any purpose. Thank you guys so much for these past 10 years. You've made 2022 a a crazy year for me. We might even hit 100,000 subs before the end of the year, and I'll see you in 2023.